What's going on everyone? Dare here and welcome back to another day of Marvel Snap. The struggle is real because I honestly, I had no idea what I wanted to play today. I had a bunch of different options, but I hated them all. <laughs> uh, the big one is I was hoping I was going to have King Eitri unlocked. Um, I am the tier just below. He's my next unlock in Deadpool's Diner, but I was a dummy and I gambled all of my bubs away against a bounce player and I don't, I don't know why I would do that. Like I, I just it, bounce against my Silver Surfer deck. They have absolutely advantage on that one. And I do not know why I did that. And I was just a little bit salty afterwards because I'm a dumb dumb. So we do not have King Eitri unlocked. My one complaint, I know there's a lot of contention right now in the community about Deadpool's Diner. A lot of people are upset about it. A lot of people are like, it's free stuff. Why are you complaining? Um, I really just wish they would have put in another Bub Mart in between the 600,000 and the 30 million threshold. Like that is such a high threshold. And I feel like that 400,000 range is where everyone kind of gets stuck. So I just wish they would have done that. That's it. Just add it in another one. Hell, take one of the borders out and put in another Bub Mart in there. <laughs> but either way, that's where I'm at. I'll probably unlock King Eitri tomorrow when I get my bubs back. But for the most part, he is off the table for today. And then there was a couple other decks that I kind of really wanted to play with. One of them was a Ronin deck because I just Ronin was one of my last cards to unlock. I really kind of like the look of him, but most of the decks that are performing well with Ronin essentially are Darkhawk decks. I don't think that Ronin is good enough on his own to carry uh, a deck right now. And he's just essentially another card to supplement a Darkhawk deck. And I don't own Darkhawk. That was really unfortunate. I had one put together and the other day, <laughs> the data on it was showing that it was pretty decent. And then I, I, I looked today and it's just tanked. It's not a very good deck. The other one is one that floated around a lot last week. And I feel like a lot of people were saying how good it is. And essentially it's that extremely budget ongoing deck with Destroyer. And I, I, I don't think it's good. Like I, I really do not think that's a good deck. And one of the big things that I kind of stated, you know, when I put together budget decks, I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys decks that I think are going to be they'll perform. I don't want to be like, oh, this deck is awesome. And then a bunch of people try it and just completely tank their uh, ranking. So I, I, I don't honestly want to stand behind that deck. I tried to play it a little bit infinite ladder and just got absolutely obliterated with it. Um, so I, I do not think that is a good deck. So I just immediately was like, okay, that one's out. And then that was like, oh crap, that's, that's all my decks for the day. Like, what am I actually going to play? So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to play a deck that I want to play. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't done this one yet. The completed version. I've done this, this, this essentially style of deck. I did a video on uh, essentially my budget version of it a couple of weeks ago, but let's get in there and let's actually look at what this deck is. It is by no means a new deck, but it is new to me. It is the Agent Venom Thena package and I finally have it uh, completed. I think the only other card that I essentially could have to throw in here is Silver Sable. I picked up Sage a couple of weeks ago off the, you know, a lot of the comments suggesting that I needed to just pull the trigger on her and I did. And then I also got Thena out of Spotlight Caches and I haven't done anything with either one of them. <laughs> So I'm going to do it. We're going to play this deck today. I've been really excited about putting this deck together and I want to play more with it because I want to get good with it. So we're, we're just going to play it. I'm going to see if it actually does very well in the current meta at all. I know it was super, super popular last month or even a few weeks ago, but as soon as Surtur kind of came out, it kind of fell off. So I'm really curious how this is going to perform in the current meta. Um, it is by no means a budget deck. This thing is extremely expensive between, I mean, Kitty Pride, Series 4, Thena, uh, Kate Bishop, Agent Venom, Cassandra, Sage, uh, and that's, I guess, six. I guess six Series 4 and 5 cards. There are much worse, I guess, offenders of not being budget, but this one definitely is not it. Um, so I'm really excited. Let's hop in there and uh, let's see if I can do some stuff with this deck. Okay, okay, okay. Throw the Agent Venom off the rip. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I have not played a whole lot of Agent Venom uh, in the past couple of weeks. I haven't played him since his nerf for sure, but I imagine he's probably just as good. I have been seeing a lot of him in Deadpool's Diner though, so I think he's still, he's still floating around pretty nice. That's a, that's a pretty decent Sage. Okay, I think I am gonna Cassandra Nova though. I think that's the play here. Crystal, I'll take that. I will 
doubly take that. Do I want to Bast here? I don't really gain a whole lot. I think I'm going to Athena into Hawkeye. Or, yeah, Athena into Kate Bishop. I do like that. And then hopefully I can pick up Iron Man and then I can Bast next. Hmm. Now, actually, Bass doesn't do anything for me. He's going to be three. Human Torch. Okay, Nico into Carnage. Oh, man, it's going to be... All right, where's this homie going to go? You think he plays him over here? Because he can move him. Oh, God, where's he going to put this guy? Or do I just Iron Man? I think I'm gonna put him over here. No, 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 no. He's going to put Phoenix Force here and have it move, right? I think that's that's what he's going to do. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I love Cosmo. Cos uh, I need to actually, I was just thinking about cards that I need to, uh, that I need to focus on getting splits on. I think it's Cosmo. Cosmo is, is without a doubt one of my favorite cards. <laughs> nice. Not a bad start. I don't know how I feel about Claw. I know Claw is actually really good. But I also feel like that I would just rather have Iron Man than Claw. I guess he's a nice substitution for... Ooh, okay. Oh, that's funny. He's gonna have the Killmonger to get his Deadpool back. Do I Cosmo out? Oh god, that's a giant Bast. That is a big boy Bast. Um... Honestly, do I? Okay, got Sabretooth. Not too bad. And then, yeah, I'm going to do Thena into... Bishop. Actually, I'm going to do Thena. I'm going to do Thena over here. Yeah. That's the play we're going with. Oh, homie. What level is this player? 2200, poor guy. Um. Am I going to Iron Man? Is that my play? I could Iron Man over here. Army over here and the next turn is claw into grapple. Unless I can get Mystique. I am Iron Man. If I can get Mystique, then uh, we can do that. Kitty Pride, okay. Yeah, that's, that's eight that's an eight power bast. That's a 15 point swing over there. Actually more than that, he's gonna get plus two. Agony into Venom. That's, that's a big boy. What a game. Enough said, bub. Not bad. Yikes on killed. Uh, God, am I gonna hold on to Bass? We're just gonna play him. The thing is, I really like to hold on to Bass for like Iron Man. But Cassandra Nova is also a good hit. I'm just gonna do it. Hopefully, you do not have regrets from that. 
I keep forgetting that Mer Island is, oh my God, and Mystique, I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, that Mer Island is in fact the hot location. <laughs> I need to remember that. And there's Agent Venom. Hmm. Hope oh, Summers. Interesting decision to put Hope there. Damn. Is it Thena? I think I put Thena there. She can at least be buffed. Oh God, Moon Girl. Is this the is this the silly? He's gonna skip turn five and drop double She Hulks. Is is that what we're dealing with here? Um, I think that's what we're dealing with here. Next turn, honestly, it's going to be Mystique into, yeah, it's what he's going to do here. I'm going to Mystique that he's going to be, we're going to be at 14 here. I wish I could Cosmo. Is it Sage? She's going to get close. Why not? Just getting ready for this guy just to drop everything on me. Or I could go all in on the right side. Do I want to do that? What's he got? He's got, oh, he's got five in deck. I think that's the, that might be the play. Let him have mid if that's what he's going to go for. Three at 14, 24. Twenty-two. I can't math. Hit monkey. Just shy. I hate hit monkey. That may sound weird, but I hate that card. <laughs> I think I've lost the bounce so many times that I just blame it all on hit monkey. Like this card just completely aggravates me. He's three power and he brings so much. He brings so much power in a bounce deck. Nova. All right, so it's got, is it Silver Surfer? It's gotta be Silver Surfer. Man, that's unfortunate. Cause I don't know a lot of destroy players that are still running Nova. Oh God, poor guy, 1600. Seeing a lot of low player care, uh, low player, low collection level players lately. Damn, I want to Agent Venom. I'm going to Agent Venom. And then... No, nope, Basic Arrow's bad over there. You know what? I'm going to Agent Venom over here, and then I'll Basic Arrow over here. And then I'm going to Cassandra Nova on Krakoa. Nice, good for him. Homie's got Thena too. What well, collection level is he? 1600, he's got Thena, good for him. Real good for him. Um, am I gonna throw a Kitty or am I gonna throw a uh, Pim Arrow? Honestly, let's throw a Kitty. Mm, let's throw a Pim Arrow. All right. What, what do I want that to be with plus seven? Sage? Sage would be gross. Dina would be even better. Angela, I will take. <laughs> hey, that's a 10 power Angela. Okay, you know what? We're going to throw out. I'm going to put Iron Man. Mm. Do I want to be able to play over here next turn? I'm gonna throw Iron Man here. Let's see what this guy drops. Iron Man here, and then next turn it's gonna be Angela. 
or Mystique, Angela, then probably Kitty. I am Iron Man. Okay. Okay, that's what we wanted. Uh, Mystique. Hmm. I could Mystique here. That's going to give us some pretty big numbers. And I'm going to Angela into either one of these. Doesn't matter. Or. Yeah. Opponent snapped. Really? All right, I'm going to put, I'm going to put Kitty there then. That is a confident snap. I feel like I should have gone more in somewhere. I am Iron Man. 26, 15. What's he got? Killmonger! The throne. We are yeah. Ooh, he almost got me. <laughs> being cocky and he almost got me damn that killmonger what a, it <laughs> i respect it oh what a good game what an absolutely good game i mean that angel is the only reason i won that <laughs> hmm. i could bass to hit the thena but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to pass and then I'm going to Athena next turn. And then, then on turn three, I could do Hawkeye into Bass to, to ping Athena. And hopefully have some other cards that I would like to hit Bass with. That's the struggle. Is I don't like the timing on Bass is interesting. Oh, God. This just in. Blink. Well, that, that, that makes things a lot more interesting. I definitely don't want to bast that blink. Yikes. Um, do I want to do that? That's probably fine. I don't know if I'll play that blink anyway. Iron Man. Okay, damn, what do I play in? Um, I could do Yeah, I don't like my options here. I think it's gonna be Cosmo mid. Nice. Good use of Electro. And then, all right, we're in turn five. I could Cassandra into Kate Bishop. What's he got in here? He's got four. All right, maybe not. Maybe I'm gonna claw. I don't know if I Cassandra into Kate Bishop. I think this might be the play. I think this is probably the better play. And then I can determine what this homie's going to do afterwards. Though I'm probably going to really regret not Iron Manning if I get Mystique. Oh, that's an interesting play. I mean, he gets another demon, but he loses that... Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. Um, yeah, is it Iron Man? Iron Man into Arrow? Hmm. I think that's my play. Or it's Iron Man into Arrow over here. Yeah, he played two cards. I am Iron Man. 
I think I should have him. Depending on what he's Shadow King. Are you kidding me? Shadow King absolutely obliterated that lane. Man, what? So what? I guess I don't know what I should have done. Um, my play was claw mid into basic air on the right, but man, that shadow king really hurt. <laughs> Note to self, don't stack all your buff cards in one lane. Okay. Sanctum, Sanctorum, that really sucks. I don't have anything to just kind of fill that up. Which is kind of disappointing. I really... Oh my god, I need Bast. This is the hand for Bast if I've ever seen it in my entire life. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna Athena. Oh my God. I hate Mindscape. <laughs> oh great, Green Goblin. Woo! So glad, so glad I'm seeing that. All right. I mean, that's fun. Sage is nice. Uh, we're gonna do Acid Arrow into... Sandra Nova is coming out turn five. That is definitely a thing that's happening turn five. There's Sage. Sage is a nice option. Um, yeah, Sandra Nova's next turn. Uh, is it Kitty? Damn, or is it Sandra Nova this turn? Because I want an Iron Man. This is, I mean, this is greedy of me. Hmm. It's greedy. We're back on. Okay, and then Cosmo. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Cosmo into uh, Hem Arrow, I suppose. So that he can't do anything to my Cassandra. Okay, he's got 18 over there. Bum, 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 bum. This would give me eight. We're not winning that lane, unfortunately. Guess we're going for this lane. And I'm going to, is he going? No, I'm going first. Okay, Angela into Kitty into Sage. think is the play is that good probably not if I iron man over here hold on hold on hold on if I iron man this is gonna get plus three it's gonna be a four it's at nine now we just tie it Angela into Kitty into Sage, right? We just tie that. Glad I didn't do it. On 
monster. Oh god, what's the big boy? Dracula! Adam Warlock. That was close. Victory! Oh, Airship, you just never know what they have. <laughs> you just don't. I'm fine with that. Worst things can happen. What is it? This has to be a bounce deck though, right? Mm, maybe not. Okay, that could be really freaking good for us. Um, I'm going to Cassandra. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna Cassandra Nova over here. Nice. It actually keeps. It sucks that. <laughs> Onslaught Citadel's on the right. Give it to me in the middle, please. Um. All right. We're gonna do Angela and Athena, and then I can keep Kitty Priding here. Kazar, that does not bode well for us. Especially if I don't get Iron Man. That is not Iron Man. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Okay, so. Kitty here. I could Cosmo. Levels, okay, it's 1400. Maybe an Ultron deck. Is that what we're looking at? Is Ultron? Probably. I want to keep priority if I can, because this is probably blue marble. Blue marble. Okay, I'm keeping priority. Oh man, there's Iron Man. But it's going to be Cosmo into Sage. Oh, he put him in the middle. Never recovering from that. <laughs> oh, I should have done the Iron Man. <laughs> oh, good for him. Good for him. Uh oh. I think this guy recognized me. We got a wolf with thumbs and uh, I'm about to lose. <laughs> He's about to uh, <laughs> watch himself beat me in a video. <laughs> turn four cards here repeat they're on ooh maybe if that stayed that could be really good here we got luke cage i got nothing to do to luke cage this is gonna be surter oh That is unfortunate. Okay, let's do... Oh God, what are we doing? Him arrow? Do I want multiple kitty prides? Not really. Man, I don't have anything good to play on this. Let's go with... Let's go with him arrow and then maybe Sage. That's probably fine. And then if it's still around next turn, I'm just gonna Iron Man into it. Please hit danger room. Hit danger room. Sick. 
Okay, so... It, yeah, it's Iron Man. Oh, man, we got Carmartage? Is it Iron... Yeah, it's Iron Man. Opponent snapped. Okay. I'm not sure, because if he's playing Surtur, he doesn't have anything big out right now. I'm actually completely, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm completely fine with that. Oh man, it's Luke's bar? Um, hold on. All right, so what's the play here? Oh wait, it's Mystique. Of course it is. Mystique into... That? Yeah, I think so. I think he beat I me. I am Iron Man. No! Oh, I got him. <laughs> Basic math. It's not doubled over here. It's it's quadrupled. <laughs> oh, GGA Wolf with thumbs. I hope you actually are a viewer. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Okay. So Valhalla could be really good if. If I could get Sage out there. I do really like that. Okay. Ooh, fast. Ooh, yes, fast. Um. Honestly. Why not? You are mine. That's pretty smart with the venom, because now he can load it up with whatever he wants. Um, I could Hawkeye K Bishop. Do I want that? I don't want that many arrows. Honestly, putting Kitty Pride there is not as good either. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, ooh, this may go bad for us though. That's smart, because then he can put whatever he wants on the Agony. Oh, Bast is going to... Uh... What happens if I Acid Arrow that? It doesn't matter, I'm an Iron Man. Yeah, multiple man. And Hulkbuster. This this deck is silly. Like Phoenix Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix Force is an absolutely silly deck. Um he he's only moving once though. I'm sure he's bringing him over here. So he's and then he's gonna bring something else on. Maybe he's... Do you think he's got Heimdall? I guess the question is how hard do I want to go in middle lane? Because I could do... 
this and then do i want to i could sage sage is getting plus six she's gonna be nine so that's a big lane or okay, we're gonna be at 16 no we're not we're gonna be at 22 plus uh two more 24 32 and i think that might be it oh yeah he's got a no uh wait why didn't he move oh, yeah. multiple man iron man Phoenix Force allows him to move at every turn, I thought. Oh, Armadillo. But he still could have... I mean, I guess if he moved it, Victory. he wouldn't have been guaranteed the hit on multiple man. No, he still could have done it because he could have moved multiple man in the middle Played Arnim Zola. The move happens first. Interesting. Very interesting. And that's the deck. It uh, it it didn't do very well. <laughs> uh, I went six and nine, which is a forty percent win rate. I'm actually really disappointed in that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just my little pocket meta, uh, and maybe I just played it poorly. But I mean, Shadow King absolutely obliterates this deck. And uh, there's Airshim everywhere. And for whatever reason, every Airshim player always has a Lyoth in pocket, uh, which also it does not bode well for us either. So, I mean, unfortunately, yeah, I, I'm actually extremely disappointed that this deck didn't do better because I've been looking forward to playing this complete package for a long time. And I think I just kind of missed my window on it. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, it's going to happen. Cards get nerfed. Cards move out of the meta. I'm kind of hoping that we get to a point where Shadow King is not, you know, just absolutely ruining people's days. <laughs> And this thing could possibly pop back up. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see where it goes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have got a lot of things coming down the pipeline. Uh, we do have the series drops. Should be announced later today. I hopefully will be making a video on that immediately. So I may be having two videos in one day. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And then uh, I'm really excited for, you know, Gore's coming out tomorrow. Uh, the December spotlights are looking really good. I'm really excited about the January ones. Um, I know there's a lot of... I mean, there's just, there's a lot of negativity currently in Marvel Snap, just surrounding Deadpool's diner. And a lot of people are just kind of upset. And I think there's a lot of people that are stopping playing. I see comments all the time about people saying that they don't play anymore, but they just like to watch my content, which I really do appreciate. But I mean, there, there is a problem. And I'm really hoping the second dinner, I don't know, owns up to that and tries to fix it rather than their current route of what feels like they're just milking us for as much as they can while this thing plummets to the ground. And I think it's unfortunate that it feels that way but it does. But either way, I do have a lot to look forward to. I am really excited about the things that are coming Marvel Snap. And you know, we can't change the things that we can't change. So we just got to make the best of them. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video as always. Please hit that thumb, the thumb ugh. please hit that like button. If you did hit that subscribe button for more of my content. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys all in the next one. See you later. <laughs>